Welcome again to Bringing It Home as we continue through the New City Catechism. This week's question, as we continue kind of through the the, um, the Ten Commandments, is what does God require in the Fourth and Fifth Commandments? Now, the Fourth Commandment is um, about the Sabbath rest, keeping the Sabbath rest, and the Fifth Commandment then deals with, uh, it kind of makes a change and, and begins to deal with our, our horizontal relationships, those first four vertical, uh, the last six uh, horizontal in terms of our relationships with one another and how we reflect God's image in that in those relationships. So Sabbath rest, you know, uh, it's amazing as I think about it, actually all 10 of these, they're all meant for our good. They're meant uh, not just as rules for us to follow, but they're meant by a loving, gracious, caring God who wants what's best for us. And keeping his commands is what is best for us. Um, I think about that Sabbath rest, just just developing a um, a, uh, a rhythm in life, you know, six days on, one day off, the day of rest, does a number of things for us. It keeps us rested, number one, so that we can be more productive for the, the other six days. But on top of that, it, it keeps us from becoming greedy and dealing with, with that in our heart. Because uh, we could work all seven days and make money all seven days. But God says, take a day off and, and use it for my for my glory, use it to worship me, use it to rest your physical body. And so uh, what a great opportunity that is. And then honoring your parents, you know, you could say that that one's kind of a silly one or, you know, it, do we really have to talk about that one? It, is, don't, doesn't everybody know that? Well, no, not everybody does know that. And, so, and on top of just honoring our parents, uh, one day when we're children, we're going to leave our homes. Um, at least hopefully that's the plan. I guess uh, some kids stay in, in their basement uh, into their 30s today, but uh, the plan is for you to leave home. And so when your children leave home, uh, if they haven't learned how to honor and obey mom and dad, they're going to have a lot of trouble learning how to obey God uh, when mom and dad are not in the picture anymore. And so uh, that becomes crucial for us as parents to teach our children how to learn, how to honor and obey us, and as children, uh, to learn how to do that with our parents so that we have that already in in the bag somewhat uh, when we leave home um, and have to deal with God directly without our parents kind of in the middle of that because um, they tend to protect us from him sometimes. Not that he's a harsh God, he's a good God, but sometimes he has to get our attention. And so anyway, uh, two great commands for us to think about uh, in our day-to-day as we bring it home. 